In this video, I will show how to reset PEM key of an Amazon EC2 instance. I am logged into AWS console. Go to the EC2, click on services, click on compute, then click on EC2. Click on instance on the left menu. You will see all available instances. We have one instance. Click on the instance ID. During the PEM key reset, we have to stop and start the EC2 instance. If you don't have an Elastic IP, IP address of the virtual machine will change. So make sure you have an Elastic IP address. You can find it here, Elastic IP address. If you don't have an Elastic IP address, after the password reset, you will have a different IP for this EC2 instance. You have to point your application to this new IP address. Before making any change, it is a good practice to take a snapshot of the volume. Click on storage. You will see the volume ID and device name. Uh, since we will be detaching and attaching this volume during the PEM reset, take note of the volume ID and device name. Copy it to a text editor so you can refer it back in case needed. To take a snapshot, click on the volume ID. Click on the volume ID again. From the actions, create a snapshot. Enter a description before PEM reset. Click on create snapshot. To see the progress, click on the snapshots link on the left menu. You can see the snapshot status is pending. You have to wait until the process finish. While it is taking the snapshot, we will create a new EC2 instance. A current server is on availability zone ME Central 1B. We need to create the new virtual machine on the same availability zone. Click on launch instances. Enter a name for the new EC2 instance. Yes, OK. Reset. This will be used for the PEM reset. For the operating system, you can use Amazon Linux or Ubuntu. I will use the default operating system. Instance type. This doesn't matter. You can use any instance type. Scroll down. Here you need to create a new key. Click on create new key pair. Yes, OK. Reset. You can give any name for the key file. If you are on Windows, you need to use the PPK. On Linux and Mac, you, you can use the PEM file. Click on Create Key Pair. It will download the key. SOK Reset.pem. It is in my Downloads folder. In the Network section, click on Edit. Here you need to specify the availability zone. You need to select same availability zone as the current EC2 instance for which you are resetting the PEM file. Let's check where the current EC2 instance is located. Click on Services from the top menu. Open EC2 on a new tab. Click on Instances. Current EC2 instance is on Availability Zone, ME Central 1B. We need to create the new EC2 instance in the same region. From the drop-down, select ME Central 1B. Now click on Launch Instance button. The instance is created successfully. Let's go back to the instance page. We will see two instances. Next, we need to detach the disk from the current virtual machine. This is the virtual machine. Click on it. Before detaching the disk, you need to stop the virtual machine. From the instance state, click on Stop Instance. It will ask for confirmation. Click on the Stop button. Successfully stop the instance. Stopping the virtual machine will take one or two minutes. Current instance state is stopping. Now the instance is stopped. Go to the storage. We need to detach this volume and attach on the new EC2 instance. Click on the volume ID. Again, click on the volume ID. To detach the volume from the actions, select detach volume. It will ask for confirmation. Click on detach. Currently, the volume state is in use. Let us refresh. It is now available. Let's attach this volume to the new EC2 instance we created. From the action dropdown, select Attach Volume. From the dropdown, select the newly created EC2 instance. For the device name, leave it the default. Click on Attach Volume. We got the error, cannot attach the volume with marketplace code on instance ID is not in the stopped state. So let us go back to the EC2 instance page. Before attaching the volume, we need to stop the instance we created for PEM key reset. That is the SOK reset EC2 instance. 
click on the instance ID. Then from the instance tray drop down, select stop instance. Click on stop button. The instance state is stopping. We need to wait until the instance is stopped. Now the state is changed to stopped. Go back and attach the volume. Click on attach volume. Now the volume is attached to the new EC2 instance. Go back to the instance page. Let's start the SOK reset temporary EC2 instance. From the instance state drop down, select start instance. Now the instance state is running. Let's log into the server using SSH. Copy the IP address. Take the terminal and run the command SSH i. You need to specify the key file. We have downloaded the file into downloads folder sokreset.pm. Now specify the username ec2 hyphen user at the rate IP address. Accept the key fingerprint. Type yes and press enter. We got the bad permission error for the key file. To fix this error, you need to chmod this file. chmod 600. Then specify the pm key file. We have it in download slash sokreset.pm. Now run the ssh command again. ssh minus i downloads slash sokreset.pm ec2 user at the rate ip address. We are now logged into the temporary EC2 instance. Run the sudo su command. This will make you root user. Now you are logged in as user root. To verify who am I? We are logged in as user root. To see all available drives, use the command parted minus L. We have two drives. One is 344 GB and the other one is 8 GB. This is the drive where we need to reset the PM key file. Let us mount this drive on slash MND folder. The command is mount. Copy the device path. On this drive, we have only one partition and the partition number is 1 and the size is 344 GB. So we have to specify that partition with P1. After space, you have to specify the mount location. We will mount on slash MND folder. Now let's go to the slash MND folder. You will see files from old virtual machine. Let's go to the home folder. Since the operating system on old virtual machine is CentOS, we have a CentOS user. Go inside that user, CD CentOS. To reset the PM file, you have to go into the .ssh folder to see all available files ls-la. We have authorized keys. We need to add our public key in the authorized key file. Let's create an SSH key file. The command is SSH keygen minus F new PM. Press enter. Now we will have two files ls minus l grip ec2 new pm this is the private key file and this is the public key we need to copy the content of the public key cat ec2 new pm dot pub copy the content edit the file authorized keys vi authorized keys go to the end of the file to create a new line press o paste our newly created public key here now save the file and exit the editor. For Vim editor, you can press escape, then colon W Q. Now we have created new SSH key and added it into the authorized keys file on the drive used by the old EC2 instance. Let's shut down this EC2 instance. Shut down minus H now. Go back to the AWS console. Now we need to detach the drive from the temporary EC2 instance and attach it to the original virtual machine. Click on storage. This is the volume that we need to detach. The size is 320 GB. Click on the volume ID. Click on the volume again. From the actions, detach volume. Click on detach on the pop-up. The current volume state is in use. It will change it to available. Click on refresh. It is available now. We can attach the volume into the original EC2 instance. Attach volume. Select the original EC2 instance. And for the device name, we need to use the exact device name as it was before. That is DVSDA1. Copy and paste it here. The device name DVSDA1. Click on attach volume. 
Now we can start the old EC2 instance. Click on the instance ID. Click on the instance state. From the drop down, start instance. Now it is running. Let's try login to the EC2 instance. Copy the elastic IP address. In the terminal, use the command SSH-I. Then specify the PEM key file we created. This is the PEM key file, private key file. Copy it. Now enter the username. This is a SendOS 7 server. So the username is SendOS. At the rate, we need to specify the IP address. Go back to the AWS console and copy the elastic IP address and paste it. Press enter. We have now logged into the EC2 instance using the new SSH key file. We don't need the temporary EC2 instance anymore, so we can delete it. This is the temporary EC2 instance we created for resetting the PEM file. Click on the instance ID. From the instance state, select terminate instance. Here it will ask for confirmation. Click on terminate. This will delete the temporary EC2 instance we created. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.